Welcome to Design University, a channel made for kids, teens, or just beginners who want to learn how to edit. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cinematically color grade your videos, just like the new show, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So anyways, let's get started. Oh, he said he wants to say this time. So first of all, when you're in Final Cut Pro, go to File on the top and then New Library. But I already made one right here, so I'm just going to click New Project. So next, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine Color Grade. Copy all these settings and hit OK. So once you made a new project, you're just going to want to drop in your photo or video. So for today's tutorial, I'm just going to use this picture of Obi-Wan Kenobi since we're going to be wanting to use this like sandy kind of cinematic color grade. So first of all, let's click on it and then let's go to this little icon right here. And if you're on Premiere Pro, you're going to want to click this button. So I'm going to be showing you guys a few tools before we start to help you color grade. First, go up to Window and then go to Workspaces and click Color Grading. That brings up these two menus, the vector scope and the luma. So you can see right here we have color, saturation, and exposure. For example, if we put a lot of yellow into this, it makes it really red, green, blue, just whatever we do like that. So now let's start color grading. So again, first of all, you're going to want to click on this triangle button right here on Final Cut Pro X. Then go to saturation. So right here, you can see that it's very desaturated. If we bring this up, it makes it very saturated. And then if you put it all the way down, it makes it black and white. So we're going to want to make it somewhere around a little over the top. And then with these, this just brings up the shadow saturation, the grays. So we're going to want to put it a little down. Just follow along with what I do and then put the white up more and then you can see if we put the exposure all the way up it makes it all white down makes it all black so let's just lower this down a little bit like that so once you've done everything that you want on this menu you're just gonna want to play around with it a little bit so we're gonna want it a little more on the yellow side like that if you want a good start you're just gonna want to follow these settings right here let's click on this color board and then let's go to color wheels. Now you can see all these cool little rainbow wheels. What this does is change the global lighting. So you can see if we make this more blue, it gives it more like bluish feel. And then you can also change this, which it looks really weird like that. So let's just bring this up a little bit. There's not really one specific way to teach how to color grade. It's just whatever looks better for your specific clip. So I'm looking for a more bluish kind of look for this. So I'm going to be doing something like that. Then you can toggle off and on your settings by clicking effects so you can see we already brought up the yellows a lot then you can go to your shadows and change the color of your shadows so just play around with this we're gonna want something more on the yellow side so let's do something like that and then bring the shadows button down so now you can see the difference then let's make the highlights a little orange you can see this color right here changes and that's how you know what color it's gonna be so let's just say you want to undo it just double click this circle to set it back next let's go to our mid tones and change this around for this one we're gonna want a little more of a green there's also some more settings right here like temperature so we can make it more blue or more yellow let's put this a little more towards the yellow side remember click this checkbox right here to see off and on next this is probably one of my favorite parts about color grading is the hue and saturation curves so what this does is let's click this and it brings up this menu hue versus hue just makes it change different colors this would be helpful for something like a music video next we have hue and saturation so let's just say we want to bring his eyes out more blue so let's just first zoom in then go to hue and saturation click this eyedropper and click his eye then you can see that we could bring up all the blues and lower down some of the reds if we don't want them there and then for the hue versus luma let's just bring this down a little bit there's a bunch of different settings right here such as orange versus saturation which brings up the oranges so if we put this all the way down you can see there's a lot of oranges here so if we bring this all the way up you can see it takes up all the oranges let's just leave it there and then again just mess around with all of these we can see another saturation so let's just bring this down a little bit so remember that movies aren't supposed to be very saturated depending on what kind of movie you have it's supposed to be a little darker a little more more colorful but for this example in the show like Obi-Wan Kenobi you can see that there's a little more desaturation so now you can see all the color changes that we made you can see we added a color board a color wheel and a hue and saturation curve you can see the change that we made right away and remember guys this is a basic tutorial for color grading this isn't gonna show you everything it's just gonna show you how to get started so the last thing we're gonna be adding is a color curve so you can see we have a blue a green a red 
and a luma. So if we bring this down, it makes it look almost like it's nighttime like this. We can bring this up more. So let's go ahead and just bring it like that. And then this bottom node is a blacks. So with the reds, let's actually go and bring this down a little bit. Then with the greens, let's lower down a little bit just like that let's click on this bar three times like this and then let's just go ahead and change this around remember to play around with this and i don't know why this looks so weird this is kind of creepy so yeah just go ahead and play around with this you will see what looks better and what doesn't so you can see we have a nice mixture of yellows and reds and our color grading goes perfectly because it barely touches the zero because if we touch it all the way down you can see that's all the way in zero and if we bring this all the way up you can see it's way over 100 so try to keep these way waves under 100 and over zero so that wraps up today's simple color grading tutorial i hope this helped you learn cinematic color grading so you can see the differences that we made from this to this it looks a lot more deserty and really cool if this video helped you in any way and if you enjoyed it then make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe it takes about five seconds and it helps the channel a ton so once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time